Welcome to the Zebra booth. We are demonstrating the Zebra's electronic data loggers, the ZS300. If you're a customer caring about compliance, food safety, food waste, the ZS300 is the solution for you. If you are wanting to monitor condition of your assets, like perishable goods, seafood, meat products that are temperature sensitive and you want to make sure that they remain in the temperature specs that they're supposed to be in, you need the ZS300. They are Bluetooth data loggers that constantly collect temperature data on these packages and they get uploaded to uh, the Zebra Cloud through either a hardware bridge, a ZB200, or through a software bridge enabled by an Android app running on a TC device, Android device. And the, uh, the data gets collected. It also sends alerts when the temperature excursion happens in the field, during transport or during storage of these perishable goods. And this data is then get analyzed by the Corbo supply chain's StepLogic platform. And also the email gets notified to a customer who care about uh, taking the next best action to handle these perishable goods. All right, so what we're going to show you is how you will interact our StepLogic uh, tracker uh, software development platform um, that we've developed apps in for the, specifically for the Zebra uh, ZS300 uh, environmental sensors. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here is how you can activate the sensors, how you can enroll them, and uh, be able to get the data from the cloud, uh, the temperature data that is being logged by each sensor, um, and also how we're gonna tie that to your shipments. So your customer data, your order shipments that you're gonna have, um, we're going to show you how the sensors, and we can tie all that data together. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, if you look, uh, we have an Android uh, app that's available with StepLogic, and in there we've developed applications such as Activate Sensors for Shipment. Uh, with that, what you're going to do is you're going to enter in an order number that you're going to associate that shipment with. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select a temperature profile. Now these temperature profiles can be pre-configured. And in there what you're doing is you're setting up a minimum and a maximum alarm temperature. So anytime you get a temperature reading that goes above or below those temperature settings, it, the system is going to create an alarm that you can then see within StepLogic or get an email notification for. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my temperature profile. Then it's gonna ask me to scan a sensor. So I'm gonna take one of my Bluetooth sensors, ZS300. I'm gonna hold the button down until it blinks uh, the yellow. Now that means that this sensor is now uh, awakened and it's going to be communicating with the bridge units that uh, Anken mentioned before. So we'll go ahead and scan that sensor and you can see that now that uh, serial number for that sensor has been enrolled and it's now going to be tied to our shipment. The next step is it's going to ask us to want to create a task. So with a task what it's doing is it's using that profile in those settings to now start the data logging of the temperatures to that sensor. The reason we have a task is because these data sensors are reusable. So after I complete a shipment and use them one time, I can then reuse them over and over again for the life of the battery of the sensor. So now you can see that my task has been created and that means that my temperature sensor is now ready to log uh, data points. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I then associate that with an asset ID. So a barcode, uh, shipping container number, whatever you're going to associate this with, you're gonna go ahead and scan that. And now that sensor is now tied to this asset. I can scan multiple sensors to a single asset. And I can just simply click add more and it will allow me then to scan the next sensor. Once I'm complete, I'll go ahead and click exit. And that's the beginning of my process. So now that is ready for shipment um, and it'll now be in transit. Once it, the transit is complete and it's ready to be received, um, they're going to be able to use another app called Receive Sensors Complete. And with that, they'll be able to scan an order or an asset and basically stop the logging of all the sensors related to that.
Now you can see here that I've got one uh, sensor tied to that asset. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say complete task. And now I've got all my data points for that particular sensor. Now, if we go over here and look at step logic and in go into the Zebra Sensor Manager, this is where we have the ability to now look at alarms, stop tasks, basically do anything that's related to um, how we're going to control the data um, that's logged on these sensors. But we're going to go into option nine, which is view logs. And here you're going to see the serial numbers and the orders that they're associated with it and the assets that we scanned to build those two. So you can see here my order, which was order 111. I'm going to click that and it's uh, going to show me the data associated with that. So here I have data points that are logged. Um, you can see the temperatures, the date timestamps that those were created under. It's also going to have the latitude and longitude. So if you're doing real time and it's communicating real time with a zebra unit or a bridge unit, it's going to give you the coordinates of that sensor at the time that that temperature was logged. Now we're also able to look at such things as like minimum and maximum temperatures that were logged for that over the life of that sensor in that task. Um, and if we take a look at the data, we can also display a chart and get real time data points of what happened on that particular sensor. And if you hover over the data points, it's going to give you the date timestamp and the temperature in Celsius of that particular reading. That pretty much concludes our demonstration of the Zebra ZS300 temperature sensors with the StepLogic Tracker solution.